Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the seventh episode of Persona 5 The Animation. So, the last episode, it was basically, hey, who's this Matarame guy? Is he bad? Should we should we take him down? Oh, okay, he clearly is bad, so let's so let's take him down. That was pretty much the gist of last episode. We also met Yusuke, his pupil, likely a future Phantom Thieves member, member similar to our student council president over there. Uh, everyone else we're not too sure about, well, I guess unless you pay very close to the opening, which I try not to do because, you know, spoilers, but at least those five we know are going to be Phantom Thieves, possibly more. Uh, we'll see, I guess. But, uh, yes, pretty much, oh yeah, Yusuke also wants to paint Anne in the nude, which I think is a very unknowable thing. I, I doubt he ever will be able to do that because I doubt he'll be able to convince Anne of that, but we can cross our fingers, right? Uh, I mostly bring that up because I forgot to mention that in my after reaction segment of last episode, so... I wanted to bring that nudity thing into this one. So, anyway, yes, now we're now it's Operation Takedown Madarame and his fancy distorted museum. And let's do that. Three, two, one, play. Also, Student Council President Girl is related to the detective that's currently interrogating us in, you know, modern day. Kind of tilted doorway. <laughs> Joker always looks so evil, just that face. And Panther always looks great. You know, Panther, you make it hard to read the subs sometimes. Hey, I'm sure I could find a keyhole worth using. We didn't try very long. Oh, what kind of phantom thieves come up with plans? What is this nonsense? I thought my cat was in my room. Oh no, I let her out, let him out right before this. Okay, never mind. It is an awesome opening, but I tried to pay too much attention to it. I do know that Futaba, the one voiced by Yuki Aoi, will show up at some point because I, you know, I saw her name on the minor list page and my interest was piqued after that. I need to know who she voiced, so, you know, I do know about that. And I want to see more of them. The two lolly guards are definitely an improvement over, uh, what was her name, Margaret from Persona 4. You know, as far as my personal preferences go. And back into it. <laughs> well, why not? Oh, who are you? I mean, you're kind of cute, but uh, are you paparazzi? <laughs> well, we are Phantom Thieves. We can, if we can't sneak up on someone, then that'd be pretty sad. <laughs> oh, Ryuji. A journalist, I already don't trust her. And you want to get the scoop. <laughs> I never heard of this guy in my life. I don't know. Yeah, we're not here to steal his heart or anything. Why would you even think that? <laughs> I know, right? Seriously, hiding behind poles of the camera. Ichiko. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ichiko. I'm just, you know, making fun of her name. I don't actually know her. <laughs> not sure which name I'll call it go by, but... Probably over here. I mean, yeah, if, she, if she's up for it, yeah, go for it. Are you really? Are you really? 
I mean, I never had much interest in painting, but that might change depending on how this scene goes. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, Anne. Uh, uh, you really need to hold back on the Twinkies there, Anne. But you know, eventually, no matter how much clothes you put on, it's all gonna come off. This you have that much faith in them being quick about whatever they're doing. Yeah, like he's hiding something secret in there. Like a second house. Or a sex dungeon, I don't know. Could be either. <laughs> so basically we gotta bust it open. Oh, it has to be in front of him. Okay, that, that does complicate things, because, you know, we could go to jail for breaking and entering. I had to think about it. Wasn't that one of the crimes that was told to us after Ren got captured? <laughs> yeah, somebody cute that he wants to draw nude. <laughs> you know, not to name any names. Yeah, who could possibly help us out with that? <laughs> the music just cuts off. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants that, so... <laughs> Yeah, just do it, Anne. It's not that hard. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, leave it to Morgana. Yeah, strip for justice, Anne. <laughs> yeah, Zelia yelled that really loud. I look forward to you showing me all sorts of things, Anne. We could be here a while, but I'll, I'll enjoy it nonetheless. You're not, you're not moving, Anne. It's not embarrassing if you got, it wouldn't even be embarrassing until you started to get near the end. Unless you consider taking a jacket off embarrassing. <laughs> but we already know you're full of it. <laughs> uh, even though those clothes aren't even anywhere close to the skin, I guess it would still be pretty, pretty stimulating. <laughs> You know, nonetheless, it's still pretty nice. <laughs> I actually kind of forgot the screenshot, and I was just... Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting there eventually, guys. <laughs> I bet. In other words, are you naked yet? Okay, hurry up. <laughs> How could you think of him at a time like this? Those legs, though. Come on, go up further. Oh. Uh. uh nice taste. <laughs> uh, you can turn around now. You know, oh, she's gone. The heart beating sound was actually almost in sync with my heart beating, which was funny. <laughs> But yeah, apparently she's nothing underneath all the clothes. But she must be naked somewhere in this house and we're gonna find her. Oh, well, I guess not, but looking pretty good nonetheless. I Takamaki, I couldn't help but notice you haven't finished yet. I mean, you really need to get on that. But more importantly, the painting. Oh, did we get it? I guess not yet, just, he just fell. Yes, yes you do. Let's not forget the important thing here. Yes. Yes, no, no. No. Why did you have to ruin this for me? Both of you. Morgana and the Matarama. Well, I, it was kind of nice, I guess. I guess we were never going to get to see an actual nude, but... Uh, so it was still pretty good. Anne looks top tier in that outfit, and uh, I guess taking off one strap kind of was nice.
Oh. Apparently. Apparently he missed that painting a lot. Oh wow, he just straight up admits this. So I've heard. You just make more, I guess. Well, I figured you were in a slump. That's probably why you were stealing other people's work. <sighs> You're clearly trying to spin it into some kind of sympathy play. <sighs> no. There's no forgiving you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she knows how to dress, that's for sure. Just jumping to paintings. <laughs> Which is actually fairly common in a video game that has painting-themed area. Oh no, not security again. <laughs> oh. Wait, is it real? Is it a replica? I'm getting mixed messages. <laughs> so he lied about it being stolen? Not sure why he would do that. Of course you did. Grandpa with his ancient flip phone. <laughs> Ugh. For what? Coming into a room in a house that he lives in? He didn't even break the lock. He just kind of wandered in. I think Anne kind of forced him in there too, so... Yusuke really shouldn't be punished at all, really. Oh, yeah, yeah I guess he's coming with us one way or the other. Uh, have fun in the museum. Oh, I was going to praise you, but then you got hit by a cat. I bet he's going to enjoy Han's outfit. I know I do. Yeah, don't you recognize me? Hopefully we can get back to that whole nude painting thing at some point. <laughs> no. No, you'll see. As soon as you see Madarame himself, I'm sure you'll start to get it. Madarame's shadow, that is. And here we go. That... That... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but that hair is just on another level. And the face makeup and everything is just... <laughs> of course. Of course, it's... But I guess it's not in that room like I thought it was. I want to take a pair of scissors. Well, you're, it's not up to you. Oh, wow, man. Camera angle's on point. <sighs> you are a horrible person, Madarame. Well, he lied about it being stolen, of course. Obviously, but why? Uh, 
Wow, so basically slaying the duplicates as the original. Yeah, some paintings are ridiculously pricey. Yeah, Yusuke, how's he gonna take this? Finally seeing the truth. <laughs> oh, little Yusuke. A lot. And we have our battle. <laughs> Joker as cool as always. But I'm looking forward to Yusuke again as a persona here. I assume it'll be here. <laughs> I wonder what his persona would be. Probably something like old school. Like Japanese old school. Like a samurai, maybe. <sighs> wow, what a compliment. No, he, I mean, he may have thought that, but I didn't. <sighs> you are just... You really are scum of the earth. This is the man that you respect, Yusuke. I know it's painful to watch, but you need to accept it. This is like it's coming around, though. Which means we're... Pres Just... Teach him a lesson, Yusuke. But that's all changed, right? Your persona's being torn off. Ah, oh, Not the finger anything but the fingers. I thought the mask tearing off was painful, but that was just... Oh. I mean, the mask tearing off is still pretty bad, but... Here we go. Nice mask. Doemon, so a ninja. That's actually pretty good too, but I still prefer samurai. But I can live with ninja. Nice. And I'm not exaggerating, man. That fingernail thing just... Ugh. What beauty. <laughs> Cut him down. <laughs> Man, I mean, Goemon might be a ninja, but Yusuke is straight up samurai here. I love the misty effect around him. Little ice petals and stuff. So probably ice type. Well, clearly ice type. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot to take in. But you do have your allies, so don't don't push yourself too hard. And of course, we're not actually gonna beat him down yet. That's not gonna happen for a while. I'm sure we'll have at least a couple episodes of. We're trying to beat up like we have with uh Kamashita. <clears throat> yes. We have much to tell you, uh Fledgling. Yeah, you really didn't. Yeah, that he couldn't really hide that. From his pupils at least. Is there any, you know, that included Yusuke stuff? Uh, he's clearly not the same person he was when he painted that, though. Yeah, it's...
like everybody else in this story, you know, sad backstory. Yeah, I'm sure he exploited all of that. He really is. Uh, that's the question. Will you join us? Will you help us defeat Madarame and become a full-on member going forward? Just more kind of hanging out in the bag. I look forward to the scene where he confesses his sins to everyone. That'll be great to watch once again. <laughs> I'd like to see him, like, personally apologize to Yusuke for what he's done. Okay, you're more than welcome, man. And, and hopefully this means we'll eventually get our nude painting. I'm not going to forget that, guys. We better get that. We were so close. That's our mascot character. Every Persona game has to have one. But luckily he's nowhere nowhere near as annoying as Teddy from Persona 4. The one who wanted to kill with fire. Or Ghana's alright. Like, I hated Teddy a lot. <laughs> that voice just was the worst. <laughs> of course. Uh, it's samurai. Oh, wait, no, it's gotta be... It's gotta be English, right? So... Uh, sword, maybe? No, it's not. No. It's gotta be cooler than that. Uh... uh... How about no? That's a bit too hard to say, and it's not even English. It's gotta be English. We have a theme we got us to keep up with here. Uh, how about how about just Fox then? Yeah, I like it. I would have been okay with Kitsune though, but but I'm no Fox would sound cooler from their perspective because it's. English is a foreign language, whereas to me, Kitsune Japanese would be a foreign language, so it's all a matter of perspective. It's one of those things where when you watch content created by another country, your perspective is going to be a bit different than the intended audience, so that sometimes happens. That's why there are some anime that are just straight up not as good if you're not Japanese. Like Joshiraku, I believe that one was called. Also, a Sobi Asabase, I think, would be better if I was Japanese. Also, the Monogatari series, you know. Baki Monogatari, Nisa Monogatari, the 10 of the thousand, the 10,000 other Monogataris, you know. I'm sure that's probably also better in, if you're Japanese. But those are all still enjoyable, aren't they? So yeah, Yusuke did join before student council president, so. That'll probably happen after they settle things with Madarame, I would assume. Morgana is so small, you can only see him in frame when he jumps. Oh, wow. Uh, tentacles, okay. And this is your turn to deal with it. Simple trap. But yeah, more painting shenanigans. Okay. Let me just send a calling card and see those hearts. I look forward to him reacting to that. Yeah, he could be our logo, man. He could do it. Oh, we're gonna have a velvet room trip? I would like to fuse some personas, please. And apparently somebody decided to take a shower while I'm recording my video, so sorry if you can hear that. But the episode's almost over, so...
Save the world. <laughs> uh, make me, you small child. So that was the seventh episode of Persona 5 The Animation. And this episode, it was really about finally attempting to infiltrate Madarame's palace, the museum. And they did an okay job with that, but they ran into a bit of a snag where they couldn't get further because uh, because of how cognition works. He doesn't believe anyone can get past this point, so they had to, in real life, get past that point, so he then believes that, so then his heart can be opened up, basically. So essentially an excuse to have to kick them back out of the palace and, you know, spend more time with, uh, you know, having to defeat the, the, uh, the dungeon, basically. So... Basically, this came down to uh, have, having to get back in there so they could actually open the door. And the only way that Yusuke would actually let these people in, considering he doesn't particularly like most of them, would be for Anne to agree to do the, the mo to model for him, to, be, to, to allow him to paint her. And he wants to paint her in the nude because apparently his imagination isn't strong enough to really to make that happen, so he has to actually see it. That means, in other words, for us to move forward with the story, Anne has to strip for him. Now, she wasn't exactly eager to, to you know, to to do this, but uh, she was convinced in the end, just yelling out loud a bunch of, about a, a bunch of other people, you know, her willingness to, to do this. So, yeah, we fast forward over to there, and in this scene was interesting because the way it was shot, it kept showing Anne, like, you know, just above eye level, like, just face, basically. And it was eventually, we realized why that was, because it was for the big reveal that she's wearing 10,000 layers of clothing. So, you know, I guess the idea here was that she could just buy time slowly taking it all off. So the door would be opened before she got the last piece off, and then she wouldn't actually have to be completely nude for him. So, uh, yeah, eventually she just kind of left the room because, you know, she could do that because he was turned around. And he eventually tracked her down, and she kind of had to go back to stripping for a second there to distract him. But no, no, unfortunately we didn't actually get any, any, we didn't really get anywhere with that. We didn't get to see much at all. I mean, we got to see a shoulder, I I guess. That's something to be excited about. I mean, in Anne's outfit in general, once she took out the, took off the other 9,999 layers, her outfit was pretty pretty great. And like, she just like threw the, the bra near him to kind of make him think that she was actually had taken it all off. But no, she did not. It was just a ruse. Hopefully we can get back to this at some point. Hopefully once things settle down and that Yusuke is an official Phantom Thieves member and they defeated Madarame, and we have some downtime between Madarame and our next palace, that could be like Yusuke saying, okay, now that all that's settled down, everything's back to normal, let's get back to our painting. And then he can actually properly paint Anne in the nude. That's what I'm hoping happens. Uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up too high, though, because it's it's probably just teasing. They'll probably never actually show us anything. And even if they did, even if she did agree to, you know, be painted like that, we probably wouldn't actually get to see any of the fun bits. So, you know, I probably shouldn't get too excited. And the game probably shows more than the anime does of adventure, I guess, but... You know, that's, that's probably something I should probably just forget. Now, to talk about more, you know, plot-relevant stuff, they did manage to get the door open. Madarami was not happy in the slightest. He threatened to, you know, well, he straight up called the police, I think, so. Yeah, he's definitely the one to, one to press charges for this, so. Yeah, we have to try to treat his heart here and not go to jail, I guess, is kind of our uh, our current goal. And we actually got Yusuke to come into the... Uh, to the palace because he was close enough to Anne to where when she went there, he came along, which is actually similar to how Anne went to the palace in the first place. So we'll probably do that with almost every Phantom Thief member, like student council president. They'll probably also take there like that. That's probably how she finds out that they're actually the Phantom Thieves. And she's just nearby when they go in there and you can't really deny it at that point. So that might be how, how uh, she gets on board as well. So... We found out that Madarama has been not only making a lot of copies of Sayuri, his probably only real good real painting, but also he lied about it being stolen to begin with, so it helped with his whole selling them. Like, hey, this is totally the legit one, I just happen to find it. You can have this one legit real original one for the low price of 10 bajillion yen. Do we have any takers? And he would just sell them to various people as just, just yet another you know revenue stream for him because he clearly doesn't have enough money already. But yeah, just just a very greedy, horrible person is really what it comes down to. Just yeah, the things he does, the things he does to his pupils, just he's just awful. Like I'm sure that's that will be a theme with every single palace we take down. The person that made it is an awful human being, but still, it's just just it's just the worst. Especially when we get into the whole I took in Yusuke just for the sole purpose of making him my cash cow, milking him for everything he's worth until he's worth nothing to me anymore. And then he'll be cast away, you know? 
like my other pupils, is just, I don't understand how anyone could be that horrible of a human being. I just really don't, but and for, for, at least when Yusuke gets into his heart in the palace, he can see him for what he truly is. He accepts the current situation, and he has the will to fight back the will of rebellion, the persona, and just, oh man, reminded myself of the fingernail thing, just... I've said this before, but I have a couple weaknesses. One of them is fingernails, one of them is eyes, like eyes getting stabbed, fingernails getting broken off or just scraped off, and just the blood, and it's just... I just... I just, I really cannot handle that very well. It's just one of those things. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just the, the, the faces, the mask that he pulled off always, you know, bothered me a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as the fingernails. That was just, Yusuke, why did you have to do that? But, yeah, the point is Yusuke got his persona, uh, Goemon, and he's got his cool samurai sword, and he's just kicking butt, and now he's officially a member of the Phantom Thieves. So, yeah, we can go forward now in taking down Madarame, and we just got to figure out through our painting puzzles and all that stuff. And the one which had a, had an octopus in identical, so I'm sure Anne could have had a lot of fun there. And I would have had fun watching Anne have fun there. Also ended off with Ren going into the velvet room, kind of asking Igor questions, because that's just how it goes. And as Persona games usually go, Igor does not tell you much at all in the beginning. He kind of slowly, you know, drip feeds you information as you go through the story. But uh, basically, yeah, we have to do our rehabilitation and... Uh, you know, and all that, basically fight against the evil of this world, and all that good stuff. One thing I forgot to mention is we got to meet a girl, a journalist named Oya, who's apparently investigating Madarame, so she might actually help out with uh, revealing who he truly is. You know, maybe maybe when he confesses everything, he'll confess it to Oya, and that's to be how that goes. But uh, Or we'll just have a press conference and Oya's at it, I guess, I don't know. One way or the other, I think Oya is probably a social link, so I assume we'll see more of her going forward. And, uh, yeah, she seems nice enough. Uh, she seems like that kind of personality that could get old after a while. But uh, for now, with the little bit I saw of her, I kind of like her. Even though I have a bit of a bias against journalists because of, uh, you know, the very corrupt games journalists that plague the internet. But I'm not going to get into that. But just, just letting you know that's kind of a, kind of a, a hang-up for me. But uh, yeah, that was the episode. Pretty good stuff. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoky, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.